Good evening, everyone. Ads here from Unity Trading Group. How are we all on this Friday night? I know a lot of you have probably started kicking your feet up by now, but uh, we are here delivering the evening update. So, if you, as always, as always, I'll start with give us a like, give us a subscription if you can. Uh, share this video for to anyone who you think will benefit from it. So without further ado, BTC, and uh, not a lot's happened since our update yesterday, to be completely honest with you all. Still teetering around this level here at the 78.6. Uh, so since, there we, since we spoke about it, and uh, I think it was the same yesterday, uh, we were pushing through this level, and of course we've pushed through it, and we are you know, heading above this now. We are not heading, but we're taught we are, you know, sitting above it, should I say, uh, this level at 78.6, is 19.195 area. Uh, but uh, at the moment, looking towards, it's, it's extremely difficult to say. However, uh, we could be looking at a lower high scenario here. I need to get this out of the way, sorry. Um, yeah, we could be looking at a lower high scenario here because the reason why I'm saying this is because the volume hasn't picked up since we pushed through that 78.6. We are still stagnated. We are still moving to the right-hand side and nothing has changed since we looked at this yesterday. There's still a lot that could happen, however. There's still a lot that could happen. We're looking at, we'll move out to a daily time frame. And um, we'll have a look and see what it looks like from here. So nothing too crazy, nothing too extravagant. We are still seeing this higher scenario and we haven't been able to push any more volume <clears throat> over the last day or so into the BTC pair. We are teetering above now into that overbought condition again on the steamroller indicator. The CCI and the RSI are still within the middle band, so looking okay on that front. Uh, but we are still quite overbought on the macro scale in a, in ge in a general sense. So uh, it's going to be an interesting one over the next little bit. If I move back into the four hour time frame, we could be moving you know, sideways for like a flagging formation. So if I'm drawing in this sort of formation here, this sort of scenario, and I'll, I'll nip that up a tiny bit, and then I can draw the one towards the downside. We could be flagging here, so we've got that flag, and then we move to the right-hand side for a movement to the upside. That is a definite possibility over the next little bit, or when I say a little bit, over the next probably course of the weekend, I guess. There is a bit of volatility, there is a bit of funny business that happens over the weekend for BTC as of late, so that wouldn't be surprising uh, for me to be speaking about a scenario like that on our Monday afternoon update, uh, but uh, with what I'm seeing right now, we really need to get more volume into this, push out of this zone and towards that 20K area for a retest. Well, for a first test, pretty much we didn't get there the first time, but we just missed out on it. So the next little bit is going to be interesting as we get squeezed into a corner for BTC uh, with these very low, low, how, how should I say? It's uh, low quality. I'm used to saying low quality because of supply and demand, but I'm look, not, look, not looking at putting a whole lot of weight on these trend lines. They have been, you know, semi-respected, uh, of course, with, uh, with the movement to the upside and to the downside. So we are, yes, indeed, getting squeezed into a corner on the four-hour time frame with this 78.6, with the downwards trend line and the upwards trend line coming together. Uh, but uh, look, I'd be looking for a sort of a breakout and then a, a high high in terms of this structure to the left here. So I'd be looking for a breakout scenario, a close above here, and then that would really give us the confidence to say that we're moving back towards that 20K area. So looking for that over the next couple of days. Now, moving on to Ethereum, and I do apologize, my hay fever has been horrendous over the last 24 hours. So uh, if I sound a bit nasally, that's why I do apologize. But uh, Ethereum in the same sort of boat, but uh, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more vol, not, oh, I can't say a little bit more volume because it's obviously not. But uh, in terms of the previous volume, we've been getting a touch more than what we're used to. Uh, if we're looking 
at the uh, last day or so. So it's okay for, for Ethereum, but in the same sort of boat where we've had that higher high, we are making a lower high at the moment. And uh, like I said in the previous updates, I am putting a little bit of weight still on this level of supply. And so I should have because we did get rejected off this level on the 4th of December, which is today. So earlier today, uh, you know, earlier in the day uh, by Melbourne time standards, as far as Melbourne time goes. Uh, but we are looking to retest that level again at that 16, uh, sorry, 616 area. So $616.80 is the area that I'm looking at for a further retest for Ethereum to really give us the idea or the opportunity to uh, to look for a movement to the upside. And if we do see a move into the upside for Ethereum, if we do get that volume into Bitcoin over the course of the weekend and that translates over to Ethereum, then we'll see a break and close. And of course, a movement up towards our 650 area, which would be that nice, you know, round number psychological resistance area and also coinciding with that negative 27 fib extension. The last one I'll look at is the DXY. It's a nice short video for your Friday night. Uh, looking at a regulated market, so this is not financial advice, just ideas and opinions of Team UTG. And I'll be completely and utterly honest with everyone watching. Uh, the DXY has exceeded my expectation when it comes to uh, levels of demand and levels of not really supplies, just levels of demand right now and this bearish trend that we're sitting on. So if I look to the left-hand side in the daily time frame here, you know, between the 17th of April 2018 to the 25th of April, there's not a whole lot holding this back now. We are teetering above, sorry, excuse me, we are teetering below this area now. And if I zoom into the four hour time frame, this is probably going to be the time frame that I'm going to need to draw our next level in because there's quite a a large gap in between that and the only levels that really stand out to me in sort of this formation would be these two so if we get rid of this one i'll leave it in there for the moment uh, this one here would be the first one that i'd be looking at and there is a very short term one uh, around this area very short term one around this area so we are moving towards that now so if i move over to where we are currently the next area I'd be looking towards for the DXY, obviously we did have a breakthrough, a retest of that zone, and then our movement downwards, and that would be 90.37, 90.40, roughly around that area there for the DXY over the course of the next little bit. We are very much oversold now on a steamroller indicator and the RSI and CCI. So it is due for a bit of a bounce. That is no question. However, are we going to get that bounce? Are we going to see the same sort of thing that we saw with BTC happen in reverse? Uh, are we going to see this just move downwards uh, in a downward spiral in a slippage market uh, for quite some time and not really care about what the indicators say? We've seen that before, I can tell you that much with BTC and it can happen in other markets. We have been slipping on the DXY for quite some time now, so the bias is still to the downside. So that's what I'm looking at currently. Uh, if we do get that upwards momentum, upwards push for the DXY to give us some relief, I'd be looking no further than 90 you know, 90.9091 even is the uh, target that we were looking for earlier in the week for our downwards movement. So we've exceeded that expectation. Thank you for watching this Friday night update. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Thank you all for watching all of our videos, giving the like, subscribing uh, this week. It's helped us out a, a huge amount. Uh, you can find all of our links down in the description, our Discord, our Trading View, and of course our website. Steamroller still has the 10 day free trial currently running so if you want to get involved if you want to have a go at steamroller you can have a look at www.unitytradinggroup.com and you'll find the indicators tab right up the top in the main menu and you'll find steamroller in there but until monday i'll see you then have a great weekend and uh stay safe